Imagine one day you wake up and you're in your grandmother's house. You wake up and you get out of your warm, cozy tiger blanket and you tell yourself, I need to go out. I need to get up. But you want to walk to the store before you even talk to your family. So you sneak out of the house, walk down the street, and you're looking for the best store. You go straight to the refrigerator that's got the cold beverages in it. You open it up and you grab a drink that you drink commonly in the U.S. A.K.A. Green Monster. Now in America, where you speak English, it's very common for you to know that the price of this soda is normally about $2.99. But whenever you walk up to the counter, a foreigner in a different land, go up to the counter and ask the lady in your broken Spanish, Cuanto cuesta? The lady looks at you. She's already laughing because your Spanish is so bad. And she looks at you and says, Treinta pesos. And you're like, oh, yeah. Treinta pesos. That makes sense. So you pull out a bunch of chains that you have in your pocket that you were stealing out of your dad's truck with your little cousin hot Ed. And you're looking through all the little coins and you're trying to find 13 cents. You put the math in your head. 10 plus 2 plus 1 pesos equals 13 pesos. You put your hand out and you're trying to give it to the beautiful lady behind the counter and say, 30. Well, you might have felt like you were smart at the moment, but she's looking at you with a very stern and mean face. See, sometimes we feel like we know what a price is. We feel like we know what costs are to everything. And sometimes costs are very retrospective to even ourselves. I'm handing her the change. I thought 13 pesos is what she said. But actually she was saying what she was saying. 30, which means 30. Not 13, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 30, 30. Man. The point is the lady was saying 30, not 13. And there I am, feeling very stupid, trying to give this lady 13 pesos. Back and forth, I'm kind of just, the change is being given back and forth to myself. And I'm, I'm very embarrassed because I'm like, oh my gosh, she thinks I'm trying to lowball her right now. Like, honestly, lady, I just don't know. I thought 30 meant 13, you know? So, in the back of my mind, I'm like, this is a very embarrassing situation. However life must go on. I reached down in my pocket. I still can't. I, when I finally figured out that she was telling me 30 and the way I figured it out was because my cousin eventually came over to the counter and was like bro 30. I'm like oh no 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 no. Oh that makes sense. That makes sense. So I pull out 30. I give her 30 pesos. I walk out of the store and I'm holding that monster in my hands and I'm a little upset. I'm like, she charged me 30 pesos. Is that not the price? That is the price. If you go from a dollar to about 10 pesos. I felt a little cheated at first, but then I had to sit back and go, oh my gosh, I did pay more than I wanted to in that last minute at the store. But in reality, I ended up paying what I thought at the moment was the exact same prices in the US. See, when I went to Mexico whenever I was 11, it was a dollar for 10 pesos. But in the story, I'm actually 18. I was 18 years old in Mexico. By that time, inflation had hit Mexico so hard, it was almost like a dollar to about 15, 16 pesos at the time. And today it's actually almost way worse. It's it, it's about a dollar to 20 pesos. Or it was back in 2021, I, I believe. So what I'm trying to say is, at the time I felt jipped off when I'm in the store for the very last 10 minutes. By the time I'm walking out of the or I'm drinking the monster in the little park. Yeah, I can't drink monster at my grandma's house because then my tias will get very upset with me. Lo siento, tias. Si, yo entiendo mi corazón es muy importante. I'm drinking this monster, and now in retrospect, 
at the time, I actually am still paying way, way less than I would in America for that exact same drink. Exact same size, exact same flavor. I'm paying about almost, I wanna say 80 cents less if you do the math. Why did I tell you this long story? A lot of times we tell ourselves price matters and price is important and we live our lives questioning, you know, should we do this experience? Should we hold on to our money? Should we save? And this isn't an investment video because I've done a few on my channel, but this is more about just understanding that at the end of the day, you're going to have to make on the moment decisions every time you choose to pay for something every time you choose to pay for something for instance i was just at the movies earlier today whenever i went to the movie i never had bought food like actual food that was cooked at a movie theater before and i decided to do it i was like this is weird i'm gonna spend way more money than i ever have at you know uh, at least in the last year at a movie theater and i'm like okay i'll try this it sounds brand new it's pretty cool and I tried it and actually trying something new on the spot, the wings were way cheaper than most of the wings in my town at the movie theater. And I actually got fries with my wings and my wings tasted better than most of the wings in town. For the same price, I would pay for just wings at every other place. I got wings and I got fries. And then when I left the movie theater, and, right, and let me explain, I'm on a budget right now. Let me say that real quick. I'm on a budget. I leave there and I'm like, I gotta get gas. But instead of going straight to the cheapest gas station, I'm so paranoid that I'm not gonna find cheap gas that I actually drive in a big U-curve to get home instead, or not U-curve, what is this kind of curve? Uh, I guess an upside down L upside down L. Well, anyways, I could have gone straight home. I don't. I take this big way around and I'm passing all these gas stations. And the only difference in the price of the gas for most of the stations was about three cents. And when I got to almost the last one before the cheapest, I went ahead, got gas, and I think I saved three cents from the rest of the ones that were in town. So I spent way more on gas trying to get there. And then I finally go to the cheapest one because it's on the way home. And I'm like, oh man, I saved nothing. I did all that extra work just for me to end up spending more on gas. And I think sometimes we get in this rut of believing that life is so expensive and that everything is just so, so unattainable when in reality, I think if we just plan our lives a lot better, we would do a lot better. Very, I mean, for instance, I could have just got on my phone, Google what gas prices are in town. Google bought Gas Buddy. Like, Gas Buddy used to be an app from when I was a teenager, and now it's like Google just owns it. Maybe they don't own it. Maybe they just use it and they take credit for it really well. Anyways, they do that. A lot of times people don't want to buy healthy food. And in reality, if you would just eat healthy food for about a week or two, you won't have cravings for all the expensive food that you shouldn't be eating in the first place. I get it, I get it. Kale chips, they are expensive. Real healthy people don't eat kale chips all the time. I don't think, I don't know, I'm not healthy, am I? No, not. But I do know what it's like to just eat a bunch of salad for a week, and trust me, you save a lot of money. A lot of money. Every time I every time I ate a salad for a week, like I didn't eat out, I just ate salad for four out of five days for lunch, I saved about 60 bucks. Now, is that gonna be everybody's story? No, but you're saving a lot of money. Oh, I said 60 bucks. That sounds like a lot. Did I say 60 bucks? Okay, I saved 30 bucks. A lot of times people think that everything costs a lot and they go to Walmart or Kroger, Walgreens, wherever, or Dollar General, wherever they go to get soap. And they stare at soaps and they look at them and they're just looking left and right and they ask themselves, you know, how can I save money here, here, and there? And they buy cheap soap and 
cheap clothes that don't last and cheap food that they don't want to eat and they consume just cheap entertainment and eventually you just end up spending more because you have to replace everything so quick. Do you realize that you probably save money on just your shampoo and soap sometimes thinking that saving that one or two dollars a month is going to actually help you save on that $300, $400 car payment you have. They don't put things in perspective. They don't. A lot of times we say that we have a good, clear understanding of our finances and we don't. A lot of times planning would benefit us and a lot of times if we would plan out things, you know, when bad things do happen, you realize they kind of happen less often. In fact, today I should have stopped at a local Kroger or Walmart and got my lunch for the week. That was me failing to plan. Now I know for sure, because I'm probably not taking my lunch to work tomorrow, I'm going to spend $7 probably more than I do if I bring my lunch because my lunch can be just three bucks if I buy it and make it at home. Everyone needs to realize that costs right in front of you at the moment are the costs that you are dealing with at the very second. And when you only deal with your costs of everything that way, you forget that you can control the money that you have, the money that's in your pocket, in your virtual wallet, wherever you stash it, you can actually control when to spend it and when not to. I would even go so far to say that spending money on things beforehand, even if you feel like you won't use them in the long run, if you're cognizant cognitive of how much money you're spending you will see yourself the benefits of eating a lunch that's redundant or you know going ahead and buying the expensive pair of socks but seeing how long they last go ahead and buy like a bulk of cleaning supplies and let it last and you don't have to take those random trips after you've driven all the way from work to home and then you have to go back somewhere to get some more cleaning stuff you are going to see that money that you quote quote weren't saving spending either more or less you're going to see it in the forehand and your life is just going to be a lot better so the two things I wanted to tell y'all about this little Mexican story, Mexico trip story, and just what I'm trying to explain is, one, there's costs that you can plan and there's costs that you don't plan. And it's always the cost that you plan, that you have control of, and there's the cost you don't plan, that you don't have control of. And I know the economy, there's a lot of inflation. If you're watching this today in 2023, Yes, uh, the Fed is trying to stop inflation in this nation, but even with inflation, if you can stop and tell yourself exactly the things you need and put them on paper or on your phone on a list and tell yourself, this is what I'm going to buy and I'm not going to buy anything else for this occasion, this or this, even to have a good time, you are in way better shape than somebody, including myself, who has just today i've had these moments where you don't plan and you waste money and everyone wants to say that they're struggling and that they can't save money and they can't ever you know get ahead but the honest truth is we don't like looking at our money and saying this is all we have whenever if we would change it and say wow i have all of this and this is what I get to do with it, life is a lot better. You feel like you have more control. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for everyone for watching.